In this series, we're going to be discussing the differences between concept class and the former student class. So to start off with, the major difference is the amount of points allocated to it. Concept class is worth 150 points and former student class is 120 points. So looking at the breakdown for the concept class points, there are 60 points available for the overall management and 90 points available for the component costing, where in comparison, the former student is five points for format and accuracy of the document. Uh, knowledge of documents and vehicles is also worth five points. Content and completeness of the bill of materials is worth two lots of 10. Uh, realism of the costed bill of materials is 30 points. Uh, discussion or part two and cost understanding is worth 50 points. And if you're lucky enough to get into the final, it's worth an additional 10 to round you up to the 120 points. Moving into being at the event, in class two, you'll be based in the pavilion where you'll have an allocated spot that needs to be set up and broken down within that day. As for class one teams or former student class, you'll be in your allocated pit at that time. So advice to both teams is A, make sure you're there on time with enough time to set everything up, make sure all your documents are ready, the team are ready and looking smart and professional, and you have any additional information or prep set up ready to go for the judges they don't want to turn up and you guys be scrambling around ready to get going you want to be able to walk in professional and present the information that you've been spent a whole year developing so as for the timings for the competition you have 45 minutes to discuss with the judges this could not be presentations or discussions and each judging team will want it slightly differently you need to be flexible when discussing so for the former student classes You'll be stood around your vehicle and the judges will want you to walk around and may pick up parts on the vehicle and then refer to your costed bill of materials or detailed bill of materials. And then for the concept class, this really is a chance for the teams not only to be judged and get used to that environment, but also to learn from the judges. A big piece of advice for both classes is to find out what the judges want. Be very clear at the beginning. What do you want to see? Some might say, we want to see a bit of a presentation to start off with. Some may jump in with questions but make sure you learn from it either way. The differences between class one and class two when looking at the documentation side is for the former student class teams, the eight sections of the detailed bill of materials need to be finished and two sections of the costed bill of materials, these being frame and body and suspension. Concept class are only required to do the frame and body for the costed bill of materials but if you'd like to, and this is optional, to go further into detail and to look further into the other eight sections, this will come in extremely handy the following year when you do move into the former student class. So I hope this video has cleared up some of the differences between the two classes. If you do have any additional questions, please fire them over the iMeki team account and make sure to look over the literature available and the PDF document for this, for this video. And I hope we see you at the event soon.